Hello students, welcome to the second video on how to use Tinkercad to design your own game pieces for a board game. So in the first video we went through the basic layout of um, Tinkercad um, and how to set it up best for your design. Uh, now we're going to learn how to make uh, one of these uh, tile, tile videos here. Um, one of these tiles here, so this might be a piece for a game of checkers, uh, Connect 4, or any other game that you uh, can think could use these uh, tiles. So using Tinkercad, we've got our work plane set up, but over here you will see the basic shapes, and that's how we're going to build our parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag out this cylinder, and you can see it's similar, not quite, to the shape over here. So now we're going to have to edit its dimensions, its measurements, to get this shape right. So to change the uh, diameter of the cylinder, I'm just going to click the the squares on the edge there, and you can see the dimensions for this these two directions come up. So you can just click in there. It's 20 at the moment. I might make it 25. Uh, you can see you've got to do both, otherwise it will go into an oval shape. And you can see straight away I'm starting to make that shape. It's still a bit high. So you can see I've got one more square here up the top, which dictates the height. So it's set for 20 at the moment. That's much too big. I'm going to try 5. And you can see straight away I'm starting to get that shape that I want. One thing you'll notice with both of these, ex both of these examples is that the middle is hollowed out and the way we do that is by using the hole feature so you can see these two basic shapes up here you can see they've got this different shape because they're holes so if I drag out this hole here and then I you can see up here the grouping feature so I'm going to group these two together you can see it will subtract that part and that's what we're going to do in here we're going to subtract that middle part out so I'm going to select that and hit ungroup. You can do that at any time. I'm going to delete that part because this time we're going to use the cylinder. Okay. So don't worry about getting it in the right spot at the moment. At the moment, I just want to make sure its size is right. So 20 and 20. And now I'm going to move to the front view and I'll just move that over a bit. And now we're going to start getting it into the position we want. So that's about in the middle. Uh, but if I was to delete that now, uh, no, hang on, make sure you check every view. So just go to the top view and I'm going to move that into the center. You can use your arrow keys as well. This is on 0.25. I can move that right down to 0.1 of a millimeter. And now I'm just nudging that into place. Okay. So again, we're going to use that group feature and start making our part. So what happens if we group it now? What happens now is the problem with that cylinder that was a hole, it was going right through. So it's okay. We can always go back and fix this. So just go ungroup. I'll go to my front view. Now, to move something up, we need to use this little black arrow there. Sometimes it can be quite hard to select. So make sure it's, it's red. And I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to move it up and that's about right and I can actually change my dimension there to be halfway okay let's have let's see how we're looking now so again I select both I'm just dragging a square over it and hit group okay so if you're just wanting to create a basic tile like that you can probably stop the video now but let's try and make this one here with the letter in it so you might want uh, a number or, or a letter, we can do that quite easily. So I'm just going to go down my basic shape panel and we can see text. So let's drag that out and the sample text here in the dialog box just says text. So I'm going to change that to, uh, how about we change that to M. Uh, that's looking pretty good, but probably too big. So I'm going to change that to, um, 20 by 20, let's see here what that's going to be, 
and if I just and if I remember correctly my tile was five millimeters high that's looking better okay let's start getting it into the right place so I'm going to grab grab it with the mouse or I can use my arrow keys and you can see it's still a little bit too big so that's okay so let's select it like that and I can still select these ones and this time I'm going to change it down to say 17 and remember to change both directions 17 and in this situation I find in the top view it's a lot better to move it into position like that okay so I've got my tile still a different color because I haven't grouped it Remember that you always got to group it. If you don't group them all together, when you 3D print it, it'll only print half of it. And the group feature is up there. Okay, so there we go, there's our tile. Now we can change the color of it as well. So there we go. Oh, can't really see that. Let's try pink, there we go, beautiful. Now that's how you use um, uh, the text feature. This one has uh, a bit of um, a bit of scribbling on it. You now I've, I've created this shape, so we can do that as well. But I'm not going to do. All, I've already done the hard work of creating my tile. So this time I'm going to use the duplicate. So to make another duplicate feature, and you can see I've got two. Now the good thing is I can now ungroup this one without without ungrouping this one. And I'll just delete that letter. So that's really good if you wanted to say, if I just undo that, I can now double click on that and I might make that a K. So you can see you could quickly make different tile pieces for your game. But this time I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to try and draw a shape. So again, back to your uh, basic shapes panel and this time it's called scribble. So grab the scribble, drag it out and it should flip to the top and I'll try and draw what I did before something like that that will do for now and over here is the done it's also got an eraser there which might help you if you make a mistake okay now so again not quite the size we want but because I might just drag it and use my mouse rather than typing in numbers this time. That's not too bad. Check it from every direction. Okay, so I'm gonna click that one there. And remember our height was five. And almost what I did before, but I think that's good enough for the video. Remember to do the group. Excellent. So there we go. That's how we created our two example tiles there. I just want to talk, say one last thing about the hole feature. Any shape here can be a hole. You just don't have to select these two here. So if I select uh, this funny shape here and I put it there, I just have to, at the moment it's a solid, in the shape panel here I can just say hole and that will act as a hole. So, so any shape can be can be converted from a solid to a whole. Okay, so just going over what we learnt today, um, it was the basic shape panel to bring out features. We learned about um, using holes, the grouping, and the ungrouping. You can use text. We use the text tool, and if you want to do your own scribble, we can do that as well. Okay, have a go yourself. Um, and good luck making your game pieces for your board game.